YouTube as it going the goat house is back with our updated power rankings heading into week 17 I almost said playoff predictions <laughs> power rankings heading into week 17 we only have two weeks left got this video uh, every Tuesday morning we have weekly picks and more I can't wait for our playoff content you can tell I'm in playoff mode right now once the playoff field is set we'll rank every playoff team and there's more content than just that uh, so excited about that join us like subscribe to North Kings on follow us on Twitter news rumors updates on there link pin in the comments for that and our sponsors GLD shop liquid IV I got the Cowboys GLD shop chain on I got a Notre Dame hat on quite the combo huge Zach Martin guy um, but on to the power ranks we got a new number 32 I put the Colts down there uh, I mean, a week ago, they blow the biggest comeback in NFL history, and this week, uh, it was pretty disastrous against the Chargers. I mean, defense was all right for a bit. Uh, offense just turning the ball over, letting them down, not converting some crucial thirds, fourths. Uh, you know, so I moved the Colts down. Also, what made this possible was the Texans winning and beating the Titans, uh, and so they moved up a spot. I mean, the Texans have been playing some teams tight, like tough and tight. Uh, Cowboys, Chiefs, now they get the win on top of that. So I thought they were deserving of moving up one spot. Uh, Bears, stay put at 30. They've been a, on a big losing streak. I could have put, could thought about it. Could I put the Texans up two spots? Two seemed a little extreme for, you know, record draft pick wise, the worst team in football. So I put them on up a spot. Uh, a lot of, not a whole lot of changes. We Cardinals, I mean, they outplayed the Bucks. They had them, but they lost. Broncos got smacked on Christmas, gave out 51 points, and um, thought about moving them down just for that because it's how ugly it was, but they did just beat the Cardinals last week. A head-to-head -head isn't a huge factor, but you know when all these teams are kind of in the same boat, just like you fresh off a win a week ago against one of the teams, uh, you just didn't really have room to move them down here. Uh, Falcons down one spot out of playoff contention. They had a shot against the Ravens. They started off slow and just couldn't punch the ball in the end zone. Uh, Ra Raiders uh, down four spots after, yeah, another blown second half, not scoring a single point. It's a game they should win. Another disappointing outing for them. Browns, I, yeah, not too many changes this one, but I moved the Browns down a lot. I mean, that's a game against the Saints where a lot of other teams in this range were kind of winning too. Uh, so that also pushed the Browns out even more. But I, I think that's a game the Browns should win. You know, that's Brown football weather. Saints missing a lot of guys, obviously. Um, you have control of the game. I feel like there's multiple ways that they should be able to win that game, whether it's uh, running the ball, throwing the ball, winning with defense, you know, in a game like that, and and they just couldn't pull it off, and they blow a 10-point lead. So uh, very disappointed with the Browns. Obviously, weird situation with having different quarterbacks, but pretty disappointing. Rams up three spots after dropping 51 on the Broncos uh, on Christmas Hell of a performance, uh, both sides of the ball, incredible game plan and call, well-called game by Sean McVay. They're up three spots, 24. We got 23 as the New Orleans Saints. They're up two spots, solid win against the Browns, so they're kind of staying alive here. Uh, Patriots down one spot, good comeback, um, and they could have won that. They would have really boosted up if they would have came back and won that game. They had an opportunity Fumble was was costly. I thought the missed extra point was costly too, but it didn't really come down to that because they fumbled. But um, and they could have called forward progress on that fumble. But uh, yeah, it's a tough one. They just started so bad. It was so ugly for a portion of this game. Uh, that, that's ultimately what lost them the game. Not really, not necessarily. You know what exactly what happened at the end. But they're down one spot at twenty two. Big game against the Dolphins this week. Who they won't have two of. So it'd be interesting. Uh, Titans down six spots. Their losing streak continues. They just lost to the worst team in football, the Texans. Uh, the Titans are depleted. They're hurt. They're injured. A lot of teams are injured, though. You know, just finding a way to close out a game was what you had to do, and they couldn't do it. So, and they'll play the Cowboys on Thursday night. That's not going to be pretty. So, Titan Titans are down to twenty-one as they sat up in the top twelve pretty much all of this year. So that's that's pretty tough. Seahawks continue to disappoint. They're down one spot. Did play the Chiefs, but I expected more offense. I expected a lot more offense out of the Seahawks in that game, uh, and we didn't get it. So they're down one spot to number 20. Bucks up five spots. It was tough moving the Bucks up that much because they did not play good against the Cardinals. They did pull off a must win, and they got they at the end of the day they got they clutched up at the end and got the win. Um, but it wasn't pretty. You know, it, it kind of helped them to the Seahawks, Titans, Patriots. 
Browns, Raiders, like those teams needed to be below them, in my opinion, based on what you know losing and how they're playing recently. Um, but uh, yeah, the Bucks up five spots, number nineteen. Massive game against the Panthers this week. Jets down two spots. Uh, they're on a bit of a losing streak. Still playing pretty good defense. Uh, just rough quarterback plays, really. At all, all it is. Uh, and they could have won a couple. Of, you know, last last game against the Jags, probably not. But they could have won a couple of these games. Now Mike White's coming back in. Massive game for the Jets and the Seahawks in that matchup this week. So looking forward to that one. Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to get out of that funk. We'll see who it is. Unless they tie. I'm not counting on it. Uh, Panthers up six spots. An impressive uh, beatdown against the Lions, the, the red-hot Lions. Uh, very impressive Panthers, uh, especially on the ground. Uh, defense, too, slowing the Lions down early, creating plays. Big game against the Bucks this week, 17 versus 19 on the power rankings. Panthers, very impressive in the second half of the season. They're up six spots, 17. Could be in the playoffs. Them are the Bucks going to be in the playoffs. Uh, wild. Steelers up four spots. Didn't necessarily look great against the Raiders. Offensively, they could, they didn't find the end zone till the last drive. They didn't move the ball. But they played very, very well on defense. Shut out in the second half. Um, really good adjustments as well. So, uh, And the Steelers has been winning the second half of the year. Um, you know, halfway through the season, I made playoff predictions. I called them, you know, a sneaky team. People were a little thrown off by that. They've been a little sneaky, you know. So they've been winning some football games. So they're up, six, up four spots to number 16. Uh, Washington's down one spot. Yeah, tough outing against the 49ers. It was a weird game because the first half it was like all defense and it was tied, but it actually felt like the commanders might have been out playing them a little bit. Uh, in the second half, it was kind of all offense and the Niners kind of just took control there. Um, so some broken plays on defense there for the commanders, which was surprising, but they got to figure out how to turn it around here. Uh, they're down one spot to 15. Uh, Dolphins down four spots to 14. They continue on that losing streak. I mean, they, they might have done enough to beat the Packers, except for Tua throwing the ball to the wrong team, and it sounds like he was concussed during that. Uh, I mean, if they you know maybe take away one of those interceptions, uh, they might have won. Take away two, they probably would have won, but you can't have that happen. They've been playing some sloppy football, pretty underwhelming recently. They're kind of starting to get figured out, we see. I they played pretty well against the Bills, minus on defense, but it really feels like teams have, an, uh, have solid game plans for them now. Uh, they're down four spots, 14. Huge game against the Patriots this week. Massive for both those teams. It's going to be Teddy Bridgewater versus the Patriots. 13, the Giants down one, fell short against the Vikings. Uh, just a little too sloppy. Uh, you know, they had some good moments, obviously, but a little too sloppy in that game, which uh, assisted in them uh, falling short, I suppose. So uh, they're down one spot, 13. Overall, the Giants been impressive, though. Uh, 12, the Packers are up six spots uh, on a winning streak here, upsetting the Dolphins, an impressive uh, outing for them, obviously creating turnovers on defense and making plays on offense when they needed to, when they most needed to. So they're up six spots at 12. They're alive. They're coming for the playoffs. Big game against the Vikings this week. They got home games against division rivals Rivals the next two games. So they actually have a shot to get in here. So um, kind of weird seeing them, you know, down way below this now. Kind of getting back to normal here maybe for the Packers, seeing them around 12. Uh, Lions, they put it 11. They did get beat up pretty good by the Panthers. I, there's just really no room to move them down. They've been playing really, really good football before that. And there's other other teams, you know, deserving. A lot of these teams had to move down. Giants, Dolphins, Commanders all just lost. Of course, the Steelers aren't going to go ahead of the Lions. Packers thought about it. Moving up six is quite a bit. I think overall this season I've seen some more, more of a – quality football from the Lions, so that was kind of a deciding factor there, uh, but they'll play each other. Uh, they both played division rivals this week, and they'll play each other the last game of the year. Uh, if the Packers lose this week, though, they might just play backups uh, that last game, but they very well could win this week, and that it could be an interesting game there. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that one. Uh, Jags are number 10. They're up three spots to number 10. They continue to roll. They play a Jets team in the rain. Uh, in New York, primetime football. Remember, the Jags struggled in some rain games earlier in the year. Um, you know, they had a disastrous one, and they went and played the Eagles, and they were beating them up, and then it started raining, and they let that one uh, fall apart, really. Uh, and so they kind of proved, like, hey, we can play in this type of weather, this playoff weather here, and they're just proving that they're just getting better. Uh, just very impressive overall, both sides of the ball in that game. Uh, so they're up three spots to number 10, uh, playing really good football right now. Uh, Chargers stay put at nine. This is where we're not going to get any changes, really. Chargers stay put at nine, clinch the playoffs. They're rolling right now. Um, 
looking looking pretty solid. You know, you still have your, you know, you still question, you know, some decision making, not really in the Colts game, but decision making from the coaches and, you know, can they stop the run in the playoffs again with the big boys? Still have some questions there. Same thing kind of goes with the Ravens. They are can they stay healthy? Are they going to get healthy? Do they have enough offense? Uh, do they have the weapons at the receiver position? How good is the defense? The defense has been great lately, but when they you know, they haven't played the best teams, when they play the better, they play the Jags, they give up a lot of points. So how are they going to be with the big boys in the playoffs? So uh, Ravens, Chargers, very good right now. Overall this season, they're rolling uh, kind of in the same boat, though. Uh, seven, the Cowboys. Yeah, this is interesting because um, they did beat the Eagles this week. Sloppy game from their defense. Uh, their offense you know, caught fire there at the end. I, I just, you know, if you want to look at my, I'm kind of going to reveal all of it. I actually had zero changes uh, in my top seven. I really sat here and thought about this one too, because it's interesting. The Eagles did lose. The Cowboys did win. Um, I, I just didn't really see their, feel that there was a need for a big change here. You know, the Eagles thought about it because the defense really struggled in that game. But overall, this regular season, it just feels like they've been the best team. I think we all could say that. Are they, when it's all said and done, you know, one game to win it all, are they the best team? People may argue that. That's different. You know, uh, 49ers have been hot. Thought about moving ahead of the Eagles. It's just looking at the regular season as a whole. I thought the Eagles have been a bit better. Uh, Chiefs won another one. Um, you know, they stay put at three. The Bills got another one. Uh, they are at four. The Vikings got another one, another clutch one there. That Bengals looked really, really good in the first half against the Patriots. If they would have kept going on that, maybe it would have been difficult to not move them up. Uh, but they, they did not look good in the second half. They almost they were kind of fortunate to pull, pull away with the win a, a little bit there. Um, and the Cowboys. The Cowboys really recently haven't been playing as good of football as we expect from them. They did just beat the Eagles, though. So this was a tough tough decision for me. I, I just didn't feel like, you know, are the Cowboys right now playing better football than the Bengals, Vikings, Bill, you know, those teams? Tough to say that. You know, tough to say that. It's still tough to move the Eagles down. But um, if the Eagles lose to the Saints, they're definitely moving down this week. Uh, so there could be some changes this week. The Vikings play the Packers. That's huge. The Bills Play the Bengals on Monday Night Football, the game of the week probably in Cincinnati. That's that's good. So things are going to get things are going to change the power rings at the top uh, next week because of that. So yeah, can't wait for this week. Playoffs on the line, kind of starting to get that feel like playoff football a little bit. There's a lot of sloppy play out there still though, even for some playoff teams. Uh, but uh, yeah, join us every Tuesday for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We're always talking to you guys on Twitter as well. Weekly picks tonight, score predictions Wednesday. Off-season videos on the channel as well. Uh, and I can't wait for our playoff content. So join us for all that. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.